Well, she didn't buy that? Wouldn't even discuss it. Women, huh? They say they want to talk, but they don't want to talk. You see, the thing for me was that I, I never should have gotten married. I, I was young, I, I didn't know who I was. And to be completely honest, I was just afraid of being alone. Wow. Can I share something with you? Uh, yes, please. This is uh, communicating. This is how we connect. You shouldn't tell people that stuff. It makes you sound like a loser. <laughs> no, it, it makes me sound like a real human being, a, a person with, with feelings and flaws. <laughs> tell you what, why don't we just go have sex? Finally! How's your couscous? Yum yum. You know, I had quite an interesting chat with your mom today. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Well, I know she comes on a little strong, but her heart's in the right place. Oh, by the right place, you mean in a cooler on its way to a dying man in Tennessee, then we agree. You can't possibly mean that. I suppose not. She's too selfish to donate an organ. <laughs> Even one she doesn't use. That's so unfair, Charlie. Your mother loves you. Really? Did she or did she not say I was a bitter disappointment? Well, she did, but... And did right. she or did she not say that I'm a lazy-ass schlock jingle writer who wasted 13 years of piano lessons that she paid for by marrying a series of men with large wallets and small penises? Yes, that was mentioned. But it's only natural for someone who loves you to want to see you live up to your potential. I mean, do you really want to be known as the guy who writes songs about adult diapers? Hey, it's better than being known as the guy who wears them. We both know you can do so much more with your life. Maybe. But you gotta admire my restraint. Oh, come on. Look how much you've accomplished just since we've been together. You're exercising regularly, you've cut way down on the drinking, and you're eating right. Did you ever think you'd be able to change your life the way you have? Never. 